Ravens, welcome to OWNW Now. I'm Lena Satterin. And I'm Ben Whitney. On today's episode, we'll look back at homecoming week, rock your world with a recap of Nuclear Day, bring you the latest on Raven athletics, and much more. On Sunday, the Kansas City Reptile Show was held in the Overland Park Convention Center, where hundreds of people came to see the different vendors and exhibits. Different animals are held for sale all over the hall, including non-reptiles like bugs, chinchillas, frogs, and more. Animals are set in clear tanks and are usually available to hold and handle. Prices can range from $30 to almost $2,000. The last show will be held on November 19th at the Overland Park Convention Center. A few weeks ago, our Raven debate team did an amazing job at their competitions. The team went to Olathe North, Washburn Rural, and St. James Academy to compete. We have about 50 people, and that's down from last year. Last weekend has been a big accomplishment because uh, it was the most final rounds we've participated in in uh, one weekend. Congratulations to everyone from the debate team on their great performances. This past Tuesday, students from Mr. Catter Henry's Honors and General Chemistry classes met in the Flex Theater to show off their nuclear presentations. The students presented to their parents, as well as naval nuclear engineers, about their topics, which ranged from improving existing power plants, the future of nuclear energy, dealing with nuclear waste, and combating North Korea's threats of nuclear war. We are creating a project of how to get rid of nuclear waste and, dis and how to dispose it. Well, nuclear waste can become a big problem later on in the future if we keep making more of it. So, like, we have to find a safe and way to, like get rid of it. And now let's take it to Jake and Jack for Game Day Northwest. Hey Ravens, welcome to Game Day Northwest. I'm Jake Crow reporting with Jack Layden. On Tuesday, the Lady Raven volleyball team faced off in a triangular match against Gardner Edgerton and Shawnee Mission North. Owen W beat Shawnee Mission North in their first match. Coach Lent then set the girls to face Gardner Edgerton. Courtney Jackson had, gave a good set, but for Taylor Cooper, Gardner had a plan it but failed to get the point. Gardner finally gets something going their way, getting a rare point with the block against the Ravens. Wyoming commit Jaden Chase serves the ball, Abby Copeland then gets the stuff and gets another one. Lindsey Heller just dinking around, tips the ball in for a point. Ravens get two wins on the night. The Lady Ravens are back on the court tonight at 5 against bitter rival Ithaca North. Last Friday was the annual homecoming game at Seaback. The Ravens showed up in their blackout spirit wear to cheer on the football team as they took on Johnny Mission North. Last Friday night, Raven Nation came out strong to support their team. The ball is handed off to Drew Dumas early in the first quarter as he takes the ball down the sideline for 18 yards to score the first touchdown of the night. On their first defensive drive of the game, Nick Hagerty steps in front of the wide receiver, makes an interception, and takes the ball down to the Indians' 23-yard line, which sets up Braden Cook's two-yard touchdown run to make it 14-0 in the second quarter. Still early in the second quarter, Cook throws or pitches the ball out to Drew, du Drew Dumas, who sneaks into the end zone for the third touchdown of the night, making it 21 to nothing. Still early in the second quarter, Braden Cooks pitches the ball out on a screen pass to Jackson Butler, who fights his way into the end zone to make it 21 to nothing. The Ravens would find the end zone again in the second quarter with Nick Hagerty diving into the end zone to make the score 35 to nothing. It was also homecoming night at Latham Northwest with all the candidates showing up and showing out. Alex Carter would take home the homecoming king crown, while Whitney Nielsen would become homecoming queen. In the third quarter, Cook would have to go up to get a snap, roll out to his right, and hit Drew Dumas on a pass for the final touchdown of the night, taking the score to 41 to nothing. Shawnee Mission North would retaliate with two touchdowns, however Northwest would take it away in a blowout win. The Ravens hit the road to face Leavenworth this Friday. Make the trip out to support your boys. Also at CVAC, the boys' soccer team played crosstown rival Olathe North last Tuesday. It was senior night at CVAC as Olathe North and Olathe Northwest squared off. Early in the first half, Grant Gertzen knocks in a goal on a breakaway pass. Then, later in the game, Chase Plusman would truck past the defense to pick up another goal. And then eventually, the Ravens would set up a PK in the penalty box, and Chase Plusman would again strike it in for his second goal of the night. The Raven Gymnastics team traveled to Olathe South on Tuesday to compete against the Falcons. Senior Sydney Weeks placed second, and this the team year, took Jake second England. overall. Now for our third Athlete of the Week, we are recognizing senior football player Jake England. His this outstanding year, performance in last Friday's game led the team to success, taking the win over Shawnee Mission North. This year, Jake England is looking to add more wins to our football record and is off to a great start. My goal for this year 
is to hopefully help the team make it to state. We brought Jake England down to ask him how he will contribute to the team and lead them to a victory. I bring energy and leadership to the team, even though I'm kind of a quiet type until it gets to game time. Otto has played for Olathe Northwest for three years and is interested in playing college football. Um, it depends if I get a scholarship or not. Otto had two sacks Friday night against Shawnee Mission North and is looking to light up and go off again next Friday. This has been your Player of the Week. That's it for Game Day this week. Now let's send it back to the desk. As you all know, homecoming was this past weekend. Addison Smith gives us, gives us a look back at the week's festivities. Yesterday morning, students gathered around the flagpole to pray for the ONW community. These prayer circles are a nationwide event and are held every year at schools across the United States. Especially in light of the recent events at Olathe Northwest, these students believe that this event could bring a sense of unity to the school. Thanks for joining us on this week's edition of ONW Now. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at ONW underscore Raven Daily and add us on Snapchat at ONW Now to stay up to date on what's going on here at Northwest. For Lena Saturn and the rest of the Convergence team, I'm Ben Whitney. Have a great week, Ravens.